hi guys welcome back to another part of Android tutorial today we are going to learn about how to share data between two Android application previously we learned about how to share data between two activities present in a same Android application but today I'm going to explain how to share data between two Android application the previous part we already learn about the Android database called SQLite but it's not possible to share data uh, in an SQLite database with an other Android application so uh, while creating an Android while creating an Android application you need to share It's very important to share data uh, with other Android application so uh, we use the content provider content provider is the simplest way to share data between other Android applications so in this part I'm going to demonstrate how to use the content provider to share data between two Android applications so before going to do the project I will explain what is the project is actually going to do uh, in this project I am going to create an activity that contain an edit text also a button so whenever user press the button I just uh, invoke the built-in Android application in your phone called the text messaging and uh, the message typed on that edit text is completely transferred into the other application called text message so here I am going to create that project and demonstrate how to share data between two Android application so here I am going to create a new project it's a new Android application project I name it as share data demo I name it as share data demo just change the package name and click next again click next nothing to change here again next here I'm going to create a blank activity again click next here is the activity name this main activity and here is the layout name and finally click finish now the project is created on the project explorer share that uh, the project name is share data demo okay here is the main activity and here is the layout in layout there is only one text view is present we need I just delete that and just go to the text field option place a plain text here again go to the form widgets choose a button and place it here okay now go to the XML file here is the edit text I change the ID of the edit text as text I change it as txt so provide an hint here handle it hint is equal to enter message here message here okay I just create an edit text and provide an hint for that and here is the button and change the button text as send message send message okay now I am going to add a click method here for the button and row it on click is equal to send message ok now take the graphical layout this all third ok now go to the main activity here is the main activity now I just create the edit text object of the edit text here edit text I give it as txt 
I need to import that edit text just import that and now I connect the subject using the method called uh, find view by ID find view by ID dot ID dot it is txt now I need to cast it into edit text edit text ok now I need to create that method called uh, send message public void send message don't forget to add the argument view v it's an object of view class ok now you need to import the view here ok uh, now I'm going to share the data provided on this edit text using the indent object so I'm going to create an object of indent here indent i is equal to new indent just create an object of indent also need an import here ok now I just Provide an action for the indent. Set action. Provide action as indent dot action send. Here we are going to send the data, so I just use the action as indent action send. Okay now I need to attach the data so here I'm going to create a string string message message is equal to uh, txt dot get text is convert into is convert into to string just convert that into string and save it into the variable called a message now I am going to add this message into the intent object so I dot um, there is a method called a put extra put extra first you need to specify a name for that intent so here is the name is intent dot it is it is extra text and provide value here here value is that variable called a message message ok now you need to specify the MIME type of that sending data here the it is a symbol plain text so I dot uh, set type you need to specify the MIME type of the data I specify it as text it's a plain text so I specify it as text or plain and you need to specify it in double quotes because ok I just specify it in double quotes and now this is the time to start that activity so start activity hi ok here I just using the content provider object so here is the indent action sent here we just send the data to the other activity and here the MIME type is text plane and I just start the activity now this is the time to check the project so I am going to run it ok the, here the project is loaded and here I just type a message here 
is the text message okay now I hit this button now you can see that that the data is completely transferred into the this message application present in that device so this data this text message is actually shared with this Android application that means this built-in Android application called the messaging and here you need to specify some numbers for sending that message and by using this option the message is sent guys this is how we just sharing the data between two Android apps using the content provider guys please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates in the next part we will uh, we are going to learn something more about content providers in Android thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial